Hey guys, I just saw something on Facebook that wanted me to, made me want to get on here and give y'all some more information. Apparently, I didn't get through to some of y'all. One of the guys put up a post, uh, showed a picture of a piston that was busted. In fact, there was no more piston left in the hole and the liner was missing also, and that sticking out besides the uh, connecting rod and the wristband. Everything else is in the bottom of the pan. It was a Walker show, a deep pan version. And I made a comment about it, and then the rest, I was probably one of the first or second ones to make a comment about it and put my input in it. And then everybody else started chiming in on it. And the main thing people were saying that, oh, if the vibration switch would have been set right, they wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not exactly what the vibration switch is for. Uh, it's going to happen. It won't stop it in time to, to stop that much damage. You take a uh, distance of Walker Shaw, probably turn about 1100 RPMs. It takes about a second and a half as it takes the piston clean off the rod with the liner. So uh, the engine won't stop rotating in a second and a half. It's going to rotate a little bit longer than that. And just FYI, if you look at, if you start, stop and think about it, the inertia behind it uh, that's going to drive it will cause it to keep rotating and do, do enough damage before it actually stops turning. Uh, caterpillars turn faster. I've seen more damage on cats simply because they turn faster. They usually run about 1350, they're screaming. Uh, the proper way to adjust a Murphy switch, vibration switch, is to set it where it'll trip when you start the engine, just from the jolt to the start, when it starts the engine. Once you get it set right there, just tighten up the screw a quarter of a turn and lock it down right there. That's all it needs to be. Anything else, if the belts come flying off, chances are it'll trip it. Engine backfires, it'll trip it. Uh, something hangs up at the start, it'll probably trip it. Uh, anything else drops a valve on, on the compressor end, it'll trip it. Uh, if you got it set too tight, it's gonna run that much longer before it finally gets enough vibration to trip. So just a little FYI, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, not sure what, and I don't mean that sarcastically, uh, if you don't know what you're doing, I've always preached, get the book, get the manual, look it up, how to do something, how to adjust something. And that's my tip for today. You guys don't work hard, stay safe, don't overheat. Have a good one.